G'day or hello wherever you are. Um, I just thought I would share something with you that I just recently witnessed, uh, which I thought was extremely bizarre. Uh, you would call it um, supernatural uh, or paranormal would be the only way that I could describe it. So basically what happened was um, I'm in the process of moving uh, house at the moment. So I was actually out in my suburb uh, with my car just moving some personal items from my current address to my new address. And uh, I was heading back home. Um, I, I've only moved a short distance within the same suburb. So, you know, like five or ten minutes down the road. But um, And I was navigating using Google Maps and just following that course. And uh, I did a... Um, uh, left turn into a street, um, just a basic um, neighbourhood street with residential houses and uh, on the opposite side of the street I looked across and I could see a house on the corner with a fence around it and um, a yard out the front of the house and there was a group of people sitting around in the yard, it was pretty much sort of um, mid-afternoon and it was a, it's, it's a, it was a hot um, summer day so high 20s, uh, early 30 degrees Celsius, uh, very hot weather, dry, um, well, pretty dry, um, not a lot of clouds or anything, just a bright, sunny, pretty hot afternoon. And these people were all sitting around outside um, in just, um, I don't know, uh, outside chairs, garden chairs, aluminium chairs, whatever. Um, didn't pay particular attention to the chairs, but they just looked like you know normal chairs that you would sit on. I don't know around a kitchen, not really around a kitchen table. They were, you know, basic sort of chairs um, that you might use outside. And um, there's about half a dozen, I think, people. Once again, I wasn't particularly paying attention to the people so much, um, but. It was a bit of a mixed bunch. I think there were probably some males and at least one person that had long dark hair, I noticed. I noticed this person in particular because they were st they were sitting in the chair and they had their hand up in front of them, kind of like that kind of thing, something like that, in a claw shape or whatever, which seemed a bit odd, you know? I mean... I know because I've been in Christian circles for a fair while and I know that some people um, during Christian services will raise their hand in the air, um, sort of, I don't know, it's like a Pentecostal thing or something maybe, that they're invoking the, the Holy Spirit or inviting the Holy Spirit in, into their physical presence. You know, I'm not sure what the importance or significance of doing that is exactly. I don't do it myself, I don't feel the need to, you know, I don't think putting your hand in the air kind of um, has any magical or special um, effect or anything, but this person was doing that, and uh, that may have been one of the things that surprised me about this group of people sitting around, but it wasn't like they were raising their hand to, you know, ask a question or something, it had this funny sort of shape about it, and it didn't look like they were asking questions, and, you know. But what I saw around them was more was more important, and, and that sort of probably gives a context, perhaps, to what they were doing, or you could suppose a context to what they were doing, because um, I've never seen anything like this before. I haven't actually seen anything, uh, you know, on YouTube videos or on television programs um, about supernatural or paranormal activity that mentioned this particular phenomena that I saw today. Hmm. So I'm not sure what it was exactly. Uh, you could surmise some sort of conjuring or, you know, um, invocation of some sort of uh, presence, I don't know, spiritual, supernatural, perhaps even demonic presence, because it, what it looked like to me um, was an atmospheric um, effect and strangely enough it it, it was very localized like it wasn't as though I looked out of the window and I could see uh, this strange phenomena everywhere 
you know like it wasn't everywhere it was it was almost as though it was it was in a very defined area um around these people in this yard you know virtually like bounded by the property you know of, of the place like you know almost around the within the bounds of the the fence line you know going up above their heads into you know into the atmosphere above them and and down and surrounding them but not sort of extending beyond the boundary of their property so it's like how does that happen you know it was almost like a very vertical um or even a rectangular sort of atmospheric phenomena surrounding them which just bizarre you know um i mean i didn't particularly feel shocked or um amazed or anything like that i just w looked at it with the sense of curiosity more than anything as if to say what the heck you know what am i seeing here and um trying to make sense of it you know i didn't have a lot of time to observe it because as i said i just turned into a street you know and uh, i was driving my car and um you're just kind of looking out the window and looking at a neighbor's place as you go past you know at 50 60 kilometers an hour or whatever so you know you just see it fairly briefly it's not like you've got time to pick up your mobile phone and start filming it or something or it wasn't like i wanted to pull over and go back and start taking videos or something i thought no that's you know and they this group of people are going to appreciate somebody getting out a camera and filming them. So I, I didn't do that, you know, I just took it at face value and tried to make sense of what I was seeing, but, you know, I really couldn't make sense of it. Um, but the atmospheric condition that I saw reminded me of, like, some sort of smoky um, atmospheric condition but not like any smoke I'd ever seen before. Like, I mean, smoke is normally a haze, hazy effect, you know, foggy, hazy. Um, it'll be different shades of gray or, or tending towards a dark black shade, you know, it'll, um, it's normally almost pervasive, like pretty much everywhere, or if it's coming from a, from a source, you can see like a flame with something burning, there's like a plume or something you know, but when the plume blows in a certain direction, you still just get like a haze or whatever. Um, but this was not like that. You know, it wasn't a general haze. It wasn't, definitely wasn't a plume of smoke coming from some sort of source or like a, an obvious source of flame or anything like that that I could see. Um, it wasn't vapours or incense. I didn't see any of that sort of stuff hanging around, you know. There were just people sitting outside on a hot, bright, sunny day um, with this bizarre atmospheric thing and this this person going like that, like, I don't know, what were they doing? Were they conjuring? Were they summoning something? Um, were they causing this, what appeared to me to be a supernatural atmospheric phenomena around them? I have no idea, you know. But the only way I can describe it, um, other than it was like a smoke type of atmospheric condition um, is um, from my experience with um, working with with uh, wood as a as a um, young person I studied um, industrial technology subjects and I, I did what was called woodwork so working with wood you know timber products and uh, anyone who's worked with wood or timber products know that, knows that um, it has a it has a textured appearance um, you know, and it's described as having uh, grain or a grainy appearance. And there's there's all different um, species of wood or types of wood, and they have all different kind of grain patterns and things. But the only way I can describe this phenomena is it looked like I was looking at um, a grain pattern in in the atmosphere, like a shimmering kind of grainy, wood grainy looking um, smoke or something like that, yeah. That's the closest thing I can, I can imagine to, to, to describe it. 
like as though somebody was holding up something that had like a wood grain maybe like if you say if you held up a, uh, a, a translucent um, sheet of plastic or curtain or something and it had a wood grain effect embossed on it in a, like a dark or, or grey shade you know and you sort of sort of shimmered that that's what it looked like <laughs> what the heck is that and as it was all around them above them but didn't seem to go outside of the bounds of the property so that was really mysterious um, I have no idea what that was and I've never seen that before um, so I guess if you've got any thoughts on that let me know be interested to know um, yeah there's some strange things going on in the world around us be on the lookout